<laughs> We're here with the Hall of Fame legendary trainer, Freddie Roach. Uh, media day here for Ruslan Provodnikov. We're about three weeks out. Uh, how, how's everything going? He's doing very well, you know. We, the, uh, we've got a good game plan down for this guy. Uh, you know, um, we, we don't know which guy's going to show up, though, the, the, the boxer or the puncher. You know, he does like to do both. And sometimes he gets hit in the chin, and the game plan goes out the window, and he starts to be able to fight back. So uh, we're getting ready for, uh, for both. Uh, I told Ruslan, study both for Alvarado and, and Ren Rios fights because you never know which one's going to show up. Well, I would imagine you'd want the brawler in Alvarado to come up. Yeah, of course we, we want that, but I think that we'd have to land the big shot to make that happen. Because once we land the big shot, I think the game plan will go out the window and he'll fight back. He's, 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 he's that kind of guy. I think one thing that you guys may have in your favor that may make it a brawl, he's going to be fighting in front of 10,000 of his uh, uh, you know, rabid fans, and you know he may want to you know put on a show for him. Do you, you think? Have you thought about that? Uh, he may get a little over his house because of, uh, of course the hometown. You know, it, it sucks fighting at home. You know how many people ask you for tickets for free tickets? Everyone thinks they everyone thinks he had a thousand free tickets. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, fighting at home is not not that easy. Be a lot of pressure, a lot of fans, a lot, a lot of people who request, a lot of requests. Uh, I'm sure he's getting bothered every day, and uh, sometimes it's hard to concentrate on, on what you're up to is the 147 last fight 140 this fight is that, that, that a big deal or is he not, not that big a deal you know the thing is, is it's a little bit of work to get down to 40 for him but it's not it's not too bad a struggle and he's been doing it his whole life and he's really used to it we just had that one fight at 47 so if, we, if we're up there for a consistent amount of, amount of fights i would say it'd be, it'd be very very tough or maybe impossible but since it was just one fight it shouldn't have any effect at all how much of him being on the big stage once and performing the way he performed against Timothy Bradley. Uh, if there were any nerves before that fight, there, 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 there probably isn't now, being that he's already fought one of these high-profile fights. Yeah, you know, he's a big, he's a big time fighter now. I mean, people love him. I mean, people love the, the, his, you know, the way the way he fought the fight and the way, you know, he started and finished the fight. And, and, and uh, you know, even, even in the bad times when he kind of uh, exhausted himself trying to finish the fight, and, and he showed so much heart coming back in, the, in that. And, uh, you know, I, I thought it was a knockout win in the second round, but... Uh, um, you know, I think the referee missed the call, but that, that, that's that's how it goes in boxing. You've known, uh, you're, you're known especially for the Manny Pacquiao in terms of you've turned him into different types of fighters, improving them. How much do you think he's improved? You know, you know he's been with you still just a handful of fights. So how much improvement have you seen just in that, quote, short of time? You know, he's always improving, and uh, the thing is, I mean, I, I'm catching him on the mitts, and then uh, I usually know what's going to come next, so I don't get caught like cold or just out of the right position <laughs> now he's he's, he's, now he's such a clever guy he's catching me in these shots you know the first time i really really realized that this guy was special is when i had him sparring with manny pacquiao and he started making adjustments on his own how to deal with manny's speed and power and if you know, he did that on his own he's a smart he's a very intelligent fighter you just mentioned a couple things one he's a big time fighter now so he probably will be mentioned you know especially if he wins with possible fights of Manny Pacquiao, fights with the Marquez, maybe a rematch of Bradley. Uh, if, it, if it gets to, to Pacquiao, I mean, obviously you've long allegiance to Pacquiao, but could, could you see that fight at some point being coming to fruition? You know, you can never say never in this sport, that's for sure. But the thing is, you know, when Pacquiao becomes friendly with somebody and we're friends with him, He's kind of friends for life, you know. I don't think he, Manny would fight Ruslan because they, they, they get along so well. I don't think that would happen, you know. But if they bring two truckloads of money, uh, you never know, you know. So um, it, might be, it, might be, it might be good for, for both, both of them, you know. So you never know. On a little side note, a lot of people are in town here for the big Chavez Vera fight, and you've been very close to Chavez for quite a few years, and you're reading and hearing and the same thing, everything about the, these weight issues. Uh, be, from being an insider to kind of, I guess you still get your ear to the ground of what's going on there. What are your thoughts? You know, um, I trained him for three fights. We had three great results. We had three 
just tremendous fast. He never said no to me in training camp once. He asked me for more, actually. Mm-hmm. He's the best. He was the best student I've ever had for three fights, and all of a sudden he wanted to become the boss. And like the, the last fight, he showed up five times. Uh, you know, he trained five days for that fight, and almost won by knockout in the last round. But the thing is. He can't really depend on that anymore, you know. The thing is, he's fighting a smaller guy, yes. He's too big for this guy, yes. But, you know, his condition, you know, the weight, the weight's heavy because he might not be in shape. So the thing is, he could be tired. He could be given a very good chance to win this fight. You know, so um, I'm just a little bit disappointed. He did call me and ask me to work his corner. I said, you don't have a corner man? You're five days away from fight? He said, no, can you please help me? I, I want to help the kid, but half of me says, don't do it, you know, because it's going to reflect back on me the, the whole fight. But um, some of me, want, I want to help the kid, though. But you know, we'll, we'll, I'm not sure what's going to happen. That actually leads to my next question. There was a couple published reports that, that maybe after this fight, the door will be left open for you to come back. I asked his dad, and he said, uh, uh, in in so many words, that you know, I could see us being back with Freddie. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, you pretty much if you get the full camp and a commitment out of him, you, I mean, seems like it'd be an easy thing to go back to. Like I said. First day you miss is the day I quit. Okay, if you keep coming like you did when I in the early days, and then don't 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 embarrass me, and don't not show up, and then maybe sit and wait for you, uh, I'd love to train him. But uh, but the first day he misses, I will go home. Uh, when do you go to uh, the Philippines for the big fight, November 23rd? Uh, you know, Cotto fights on the 5th, and then on the 6th I come back here, and on that night at 10 p.m. I fly out to the Philippines, and uh, we start training camp with Manny Pacquiao. We'll see you November 23rd. We'll see you next week. Uh, actually, you just mentioned Cotto. He just walked out the door before we started. How's that experience been, first time around with him? Great. Just a uh, real workhorse. Uh, always on time, 5.30 in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning every day here. And we work three hours in condition. And, and strength and uh, then we do two hours in the afternoon just a great kid to work with he's ready to fight we just maintain it right now i really gotta slow him down a little bit he's a pound and a half over, overweight right now and this, this, he's just in great shape is it uh, obviously you broke down a lot of his tapes preparing for the manny fight with him and is it uh, easy knowing what it maybe you know you studied what a guy's weaknesses are? Is it kind of easy knowing what you feel that you need to work on with him? Yeah, I knew exactly what to work on with him, and you know you watched the trout fight and, and even the Mayweather fight, which he fought a pretty good fight. And so, but the thing is, he had gotten away with what, what, what made him. I mean, when you mentioned the name Miguel Cotto, oh, great left hook to the body. I mean, you know, he stopped throwing that, like, you know, he didn't use that anymore. Uh, so I tried to bring back, uh, I didn't want to change people, but I want to bring back what, 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 what worked for him. And uh, I, I went home a couple nights ago and peed blood. So he's, the left hook's coming back. Freddie, we'll see you here, there, and everywhere around the world. Thank you. Thank you very much.